Today, we're doing a number lore build challenge, but I'm secretly gonna use hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash piece, they can instantly spawn in this massive one. And little does my friend know, I'm gonna fill up the entire thing with traps to troll him. So now, let's go check on my friend Bubbles. And Bubbles, what in the world are you doing? Captain Bubbles, ready for takeoff! Oh, uh, Bubbles, what are you doing? Wee! But GE, what are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a number lore build challenge. Number lore? Which number are we building? We're gonna be building one. I love Love one, but which side do you want to go on? The green side or the blue side? Well, obviously I'm gonna go on the blue side. Wait, what? No, get on the green side. Just kidding, green is way better. That's what I thought, and we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so get going. Let's go. All right, now that Bubbles can't hear me, I'm gonna type in the command. And oh my goodness, our number one just spawned in. We're so ahead of Bubbles, but now I'm gonna fill up the entire one with a bunch of traps. Starting with the fake ancients, and hmm, where should I put it? Wait a second, I'm gonna put it right on top of his head. First, we'll break it a few blocks just like this and then start building our diamond room. Diamond is Bubbles' favorite block, so hopefully this will lure him into our trap. Just a few more blocks and there we go. When Bubbles walks in a room, he's gonna see this chest. But what Bubbles doesn't know is that as soon as he tries walking to the chest, he's gonna fall into my secret trap. And to do this, we're gonna place down some diamond fans. If you try walking on one of these fans, you get flung up super high. So we're gonna make a tunnel with a pit of lava. Just like this, I can't wait to see Bubbles' reaction. Finally, we're gonna add some blue leaves to disguise it. And just like that, our fake entrance is complete. This trap is super deadly, but now that we're done with our fake entrance, I'm gonna spy on bubbles. I secretly put one-way glass on the other side of the competition, so if I just go to the wall right here, oh my goodness, I can see bubbles. And there we go. My number lore one looks so good. Mr. Siren Head, what do you think of it? Wait, where did he get Siren Heads? You like it? Well, me too. But little does she know, I'm gonna place a bunch of booby traps around the boat with a secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build, so this is going perfect. Wait, we only have eight minutes left, okay? I have to get back to my build. Luckily, your build is way better than his, but we still have to fill this up with a bunch of traps. Starting off with the real ancients, and hmm, where should I put it? Wait a second, I'm gonna put it right inside of his mouth. First, I'll break out some blocks right here, and then replace it with our fake blocks. These might look like real blocks, but you can actually walk right through them. And now, we can start building our first challenge. And this one's gonna be super hard to get through. First, we'll place down a workbench, and this is gonna let Bubbles use a ton of weapons. Weapons. To craft one of these weapons, you're gonna need some iron. And to get iron, Bubbles is gonna need a pickaxe, just like this. We're gonna hide this pickaxe in a secret chest right over here. So as soon as you use the block, you can open it up and get your pickaxe. This might be a bit too easy though, so we're gonna make a fake chest to make it even harder. We'll place a chest right here, and then add a sign that says real pickaxe. But this chest won't be very real, because it'll lead to our secret trap. We'll start by adding some redstone, and then have it lead to our piston. So as soon as you try opening the chest, you'll fall straight to your death. We're gonna have this chest lead to an obsidian pit with a ton of lava spikes at the bottom. Finally, we'll cover up the redstone with some carpet and just like that, our trap is complete. So now we can move on to the next section and we're gonna make a tiny parkour. If we take this personal shrinking device, we can turn super tiny and now we can start building the parkour. First, we're gonna fill the bottom with a ton of lava and then start making our tiny jumps. We just have to add one more and there we go. Now we're gonna make a row of iron bars. These things are super Super thin, so one wrong move and you'll fall straight into the lava. Now that the iron bars are placed down, we're gonna put down a slime block. And Bubbles has to bounce off of this to make it to the next jump. And this is gonna be some ladder parkour. We'll place down some ladders on each side of the block, so Bubbles has to jump on these thin ladders to make it to the exit. But now that we're done building our tiny parkour, I'm gonna try it out. So let me just make this jump right here, and then another one right there. We're doing pretty good so far, so let me try running on the iron bars and- are you serious, Aniel? This is actually way harder than it looks, so if you want to make it past my tiny parkour, then you have to subscribe in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Now that you're subscribed, we can move on to the next section. There's one more challenge that Bubbles has to do before he can be normal size. He's gonna have to fight through this deadly silverfish arena. First, we're gonna put down a sneaky tripwire hook, and then connect it to some redstone dust. We're gonna connect this redstone to a bunch of dispensers, and inside the dispensers, we're gonna put a ton of silverfish. Just a few more dispensers, and there we go. Now that the dispensers are filled, we're gonna give Bubbles a way to fight him with. To do this, we're gonna break out some holes in the floor and then fill it with lava. So as soon as Bubbles steps on the tripwire, he's gonna have to use the holes to fight this silverfish. And oh my goodness, this is actually a lot harder than I thought. Once Bubbles makes it past this challenge, he can finally turn normal size again. And now we can finally move on to the next section. And this one's gonna be fun, but super deadly. First, we'll fill the bottom with a ton of spikes, because we're gonna make a paraglider course. We'll place down this bouncy spring, then start building the 
landing platforms. So if we try it out all together, look at this. I'm literally flying. All we have to do is fill out these platforms until we get to the end of the room. And just to spice it up a bit, we're gonna add a few extra challenges. On this platform, we're gonna add some mobs that Bubbles has to fight. We're gonna fill this up with a zombie and this one with a skeleton. So as soon as Bubbles lands on the platform, he's gonna have to fight these mobs before he can get away. And oh my goodness, this is actually kind of intense. Before we make it to the next section, I have one more trick up my sleeve. We're gonna give Bubbles the choice between a green platform and a blue platform. We'll place some real blocks on the green platform and some fake blocks on the blue platform. So if Bubbles tries going on the blue platform, he'll fall straight to his death. Bubbles' reaction is gonna be hilarious, so make sure to stick around. But now, let's move on to the next section. In this room, we're gonna make Bubbles go through some trivia. If he picks the right answer, he can move on to the next question. But if he picks the wrong answer, he'll fall straight into this pit of lava. And to make sure Bubbles doesn't cheat, we're gonna cover up both of the answers with a bunch of paintings. For the first question, I'm gonna put what is better? Rotten flesh or poisonous potatoes? Obviously, potatoes are way better, so if we move through, we can move on to the next question. And on this next question, we're gonna ask something important. What is the better color? Green or blue? Come on, guys, this isn't even a question. Green is obviously the better color. So if Bubbles picks the blue side, he'll fall straight into a pit of spikes. And finally, we can ask the most important question of all. Who is shorter? Bubbles thinks he's taller than me, when in reality, he's super short. So if he picks GE, he'll fall straight into a pit of lava. But if he picks Bubbles, he can move on to the next section. And speaking of Bubbles, I want to troll him real quick. If I use this potion of invisibility, I can turn completely invisible. And now, I'm going to go to the other side and check up on Bubbles. Let me just dig in a few blocks just like this. And oh my goodness, I can see him right there. And there we go. Let me work on the other side now. Now that Bubbles is distracted, it's the perfect time to troll him. I'm going to dig in a few blocks just like this all the way to the void. Come on, I got to be fast. Hopefully, he doesn't notice me. Now, I'm going to place some fake blocks right here and then replace it with diamonds. And it looks like he just finished. I can't wait to see his reaction. Nice. This looks so good. Wait a second. Why are there diamonds over here? I love diamonds. I'm going to mine them. Wait, what? I just fell. Oh my goodness. He actually fell for it. Now, quick, while he isn't noticing, I'm going to bazooka the leg. Come on, come on, come on. And oh my goodness. I finally made it back. And what in the world? Oh no, this is really bad. We only have five minutes left. Wait a second. We only have five minutes left. Okay, I have to finish up my build. I had no idea we only had five minutes left, but luckily I have the perfect idea for our next trap. I'm gonna trap bubbles inside of a super scary obsidian room. I'm gonna put a ton of security cameras, some cobwebs, and even a dragon head. Oh, that's gross. But if bubbles actually wants to get out, he's gonna have to find the right button inside of this room. We're gonna place a ton of buttons to make it really confusing. But the twist is only one of these buttons will let you escape, and I'm gonna choose this one. We're gonna add some redstone to connect to the door. And while I'm placing this down, I'm actually curious. Are you team alphabet lore or team number lore? Comment down below if you're team alphabet lore or team number lore, and let's see who wins. Now that a real button is set up, I'm gonna place down a fake button. And we're gonna make it blue, because Bubbles definitely won't miss it. We'll connect this button to a command block, so if Bubbles tries pressing it, oh my goodness, we're falling all the way to the bottom. Now that our button room is complete, we can move on to the next section. First, I'll make a tunnel with commands, and then we'll split the bottom into four sides, because we're gonna make a water dropper. We'll fill up this section with fake water, some obviously fake water, some toxic waste, and then finally, the real water. Bubbles has to choose the right water if he wants to move on, but we're gonna make it a little bit harder. We're gonna place some lasers to get in Bubbles' way. So not only does he have to choose the right water, but he has to dodge all the lasers as well. Just a few more, and there we go. And oh my goodness, this looks super dangerous. Now that our dropper's finished, we can move on to the next section. And we only have one minute left, so we have to be fast. We're gonna give Bubbles a choice. Is he gonna pick the diamond tunnel or the emerald tunnel? If Bubbles picks the green tunnel, he'll get led to a secret treasure. But if he picks the blue tunnel, he'll fall straight to his death. We're gonna place a chest right here, but little does Bubbles know it's completely fake. Now, we're gonna replace these blocks with ghost blocks, then add some green springs on the side of it. These springs are super bouncy, so if you try walking across, you get flung straight to your death. But now that the blue tunnel's set up, we can move on to the green tunnel. We'll place down a chest right here, and then fill it up with Bubbles' favorite items. We'll place down some diamond ores, some diamonds, and finally, some blue crystals. And just like that, our number lore build is complete. So now, we're gonna see which build is better. Hey, Bubbles! Hey, G! Now that time's up, whose build are we gonna look at first? Well, since I know that mine is way better, let's look at mine first. Well, I know yours definitely isn't better, but it's okay. Let's save the best for last. Whatever, GE. Just come look at this beautiful build. And what the heck is this, Bubbles? This is my super amazing number lore one. It actually doesn't look that bad, but wait a second. Why is this I made it a dirt? Because that's one's favorite block. Oh, I don't remember one liking dirt, but wait a second. How do I even get inside this thing? You're gonna have to find it 
it somewhere on the build. Somewhere on the build? Well, hmm. Maybe it's inside of his mouth and no. Or it could be inside of his eyebrow and doesn't look like it. Wait, if the eye's made out of dirt, then maybe his engines is somewhere inside of here? No way, you actually found it. It's okay though, because you're gonna have to go through this lava spike parkour. Lava spike parkour? Well, lucky for me, because I'm a parkour pro. So let me make this first jump right here. And then we have some ladders. So let me just get on top of that and then make it around. No way, how are you not falling? Because I'm built different bubbles, but it looks like we have some head hitters here. So I have to be really careful. Okay, I got one of them down. Only two more left. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. I'll give it to you, GE. You're not bad, but can you make it through the iron bars? Well, I definitely can. I just have to sneak through this section and then start making the rest of the jumps. Please fall. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Bubbles. And look at that. You're on the last jump. Can you make it? Yep, I sure can. And I'm so confident I'm gonna do it with my eyes closed. Let's go. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> you fell. Wait a second. But how is that even possible? I definitely made it. Because you're a noob, GE. Well, I'm definitely not a noob, Bubbles. Wait a second. What if I try making this block? Wait, wait, wait. Don't do that, please. Don't. And look at that, Bubbles. It's a ghost block. Are you serious right now? You were supposed to break the block. But I guess you found the secret. This is a fake entrance. Wait, this is a fake entrance? And where do I find the real one? I don't know, GE. Go find it yourself. Oh my. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Maybe it's on top of his head and no. Nope. Or maybe it's on the side and oh my. Bubbles, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please show me where it is? I'll tell you where it is under one condition. And what is that, Bubbles? If everyone watching the video likes and subscribes. Wait, everyone has to like and subscribe? Please, guys, I need to know where the sanctions is. So like and subscribe in three, two, one, let's go. Now that everyone liked and subscribed, you have to show me the real sanctions. No way they did it that fast, but okay, I'll show you where it is. Just follow me. All right, let's see where this is. Look over here. Wait, there was a door this whole time? Yeah, I don't know how you didn't see it, but now that you found it, you can go inside. Okay, and oh my, yo, why are there a ton of lasers? You're gonna have to make it through all these lasers to survive. Make it through all these lasers? Well, I guess I can just jump over them. Okay, nice. Gotta make sure to not hit the lava. No way. These are so easy for you. I should have made it more hard. Okay, and for this one, I have to be really, really careful. Come on, come on, come on. And nice. GE, I know you survived that one, but you're so short. I'm not short, Bubbles. You're short. You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna go through the rest of your course. Let me just jump over these. And then for this one, I'm gonna break a block right here. What the heck? You're not allowed to break those. And then place it down. Let's go. Are you serious right now? You actually cheated? Whatever, GE. You're never gonna make it past my ice boating path. Your ice boating path? Well, wait a second. Do I pick the green side or the blue side? I mean, the answer is pretty obvious, GE. Yeah, that I picked the green side? You're totally right. Let's go. Okay. And wait a second. Why am I taking so much damage? You're running into the lava. Oh my goodness. I'm on half a heart. There's no way I'm gonna make this. And you just died. <laughs> Whatever, Bubbles. Try to use the charm. I just have to be really careful. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, how are you still alive? And I'm at the end. Let's go. Wait, what? Ha <laughs> you just fell into my trap. Oh my, you really put a trap? Are you serious, right now, Bubbles? Yep, just wait till you see this. Wait, what? Why is there TNT? Let's go. No, no, no. Ha <laughs> ha, get absolutely destroyed. Oh my, does that mean I have to go in the blue side? Why do you sound so disappointed? Blue's the best. Yeah, in your dreams, Bubbles, but I guess I'll go through it. And wait a second, why is this so easy? Because blue is the correct answer. Oh my, whatever, Bubbles, I guess I'll go to the next section. And wait a second, what is this? Welcome to the mutant zombie room, where you're gonna have to fight this big, strong mutant zombie. I'm gonna have to fight this thing? Well, Bubbles, is there anything I can use to fight it with? Yup, this boat right here. What, what am I supposed to do with the boat? I'm just kidding, GE. There's a hidden chest somewhere in this room. A hidden chest? Well, the one right here? What the heck? How did you find it so fast? I guess it wasn't very hidden after all, so let me just open it and wait a second. Why is there a password? Haha, <laughs> you thought I was gonna make it that easy. Oh my, are you serious, right now, Bubbles? Yes, I'm serious, right now, and you're gonna have to look around the room for clues to what the password could be. Look around for clues? Well, maybe it has to be somewhere around here. Come on, maybe I'll run into something and wait a second. What is this? Three plus two? Well, obviously that's five. That's one number of the password. All right, so let me just keep looking around. One plus four? Well, that's five again. That's the second number. All right, well, maybe there's some more clues around here. And wait, there's a sign right here. Four plus one again? Well, that's five. Wait a second, Bubbles, I think I see a pattern. Uh, what are you talking about? If I just go to the chest over here and then type five, 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 aha, I knew it. Ain't no way. And now I have all this armor and a shotgun. I guess you found it, GE, but you're gonna have to fight this zombie now. I'm gonna have to fight the 
zombie will bring it on, mutant zombie. I'm totally ready. The cage is opening in three, two, one, fight. Oh my goodness. Go get him, zombie. Luckily, this gun is pretty long range, so I can attack him without him hitting me. It looks like you knocked him down, but guess what, GE? He's gonna get right back up. Wait, what? How is that even possible? Come on, just a few more hits and surely he has to die, right? Will he, though? Oh my, how is he coming up again? Haha, <laughs> and you just got thrown. Oh my, I'm so low right now. Hopefully, I can win this fight. Come on, come on, come on, and nice. No way. You actually beat him. Good job, I guess. But now you can take these ladders up to the next obstacle. Take these ladders? We'll say less. And wait a second. Bubbles, why am I not going up? Haha, <laughs> looks like you're stuck. Oh my, I'm missing a piece. Wait, how do I find it? Maybe you gotta look closer around the room. Closer around the room? Well, maybe I missed it inside of this chest. Come on, come on, come on. And doesn't look like it. Nope. Or it could possibly be inside of the walls. I wouldn't put it in there. Wait a second. There's a blue trap door over here. What if I just try opening it? Wait, don't look, don't look. And bingo, one ladder piece. I guess you found it. Now it's time for the next obstacle though. Oh, uh, why is there a ton of mines? Because this is my super deadly mine parkour. One wrong move and you're gonna get exploded. Some mine parkour? Well, lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro. I just gotta keep making these jumps and that was a piece of cake, Bubbles. Are you serious? I wanted to make the beginning a bit easier, but can you make it past the rest? Well, I'm sure I can. I guess I just have to get on these ladders and then jump around it. Okay, time for the springs. Just a few. Can I do it? And I gotta make this boat. Wait a second. What? You just got blown up. Whatever. Try two bubbles. I just have to make it on this spring and then the other one and then click really fast and really, dude. You're such a noob. All right. Third time's the charm. Come on. Come on. Come on. I just gotta make it and nice. I can't believe you actually did it. Yup. And now I just have a few more jumps. And let's go. You made it. This is a deadly obstacle course and you're gonna have to ride this Lamborghini through it. Wait, Lamborghini? This is literally a mini bike bubbles, but whatever. I guess I'll get on it. Oh my goodness. This is actually really hard to drive. This is the hardest part. Oh my goodness. I have to be really careful. Can you make that turn? Come on, come on, come on. And nice. You're not too bad at driving, GE. But take these ladders with me to the next room. The next room? Well, what could this be? What the heck is this, Bubbles? Maha, this is my lava maze. Your lava maze? Well, I'm gonna have to be really careful. And wait a second. Is that a poisonous potato and an emerald? Yep, looks like you made it through. Here's your prize. Well, that was pretty easy. Let me just make it through. And wait a second. Why am I falling? You just fell from my trap. Oh my, that was a trap? Are you serious, Neil? Yeah, good luck getting through this maze for real. All right, well, if I just look hard enough, then maybe I can find it. It could be somewhere back here and doesn't look like it. You're lost. Or it could be somewhere around this section. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta be careful. And I made it. Let's go. What the heck already? Yup, and now I'll make it up. Welcome to your last and final obstacle, GE. Will you pick the diamond chest or will you pick the emerald chest? Well, obviously, I'm gonna pick the emerald chest. Let's go and wait a second. Why is it empty? And there's a zombie. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, get him. Oh, my goodness. Well, luckily, I'm a Minecraft pro. So just a few more hits and I'll take him out. Nice job. You killed the zombie. Yeah, and you can have the rotten flesh. Mmm, yummy. Does that mean I have to open up the diamond chest? Yes, you do. Diamond's the best. Okay, whatever. Let me open it up and a ton of emeralds. They're all for you, GE. Let's go. But now that I made it through your number lore one, want to go through mine? Of course I do. I'm so excited. All right, then let's do it. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. What the... Heck, this thing is huge. There's no way you built this in 10 minutes. Well, you know me, Bubbles. I'm a Minecraft pro. No, you're not, GE. But tell me, where did you put the entrance? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite block. My favorite block? You mean diamonds? That'll be easy to find. And look at that. I already see some diamonds all the way at the tippy top. Nice job, Bubbles. It looks like you found the entrance. Wait, there's a chest already? Yup, I made my build pretty easy for you, Bubbles. So you can come and get your prize. Sounds like a plan. Wait, what in the world? What just happened? Oh, my, you fell for my trap. That was so hot. How am I supposed to make it through? I don't know, Bubbles. Maybe that was just a glitch or something. Wait a second. I see a whole bunch of fans here. A whole bunch of what? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no way I could get across, GE. This is definitely the fake entrance. Fine, Bubbles. You caught me, but now you're gonna have to find the real one. Let's do this. Where could it be? Is it in his eye over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, I know where you would put it, GE. Where's that? It's probably somewhere in his mouth. Oh, I definitely wouldn't put it there, Bubbles. 
house. You know what? Don't even bother checking. Nope, I'm still gonna check. Let me walk around here and it looks like I made it. But what in the world is that? This is a mutant crocodile and you're gonna have to fight it. A mutant crocodile? What am I supposed to fight it with? My fists? Yup. What? Just kidding, Bubbles. There's a workbench right over here. Whoa, look at that. There's a whole bunch of different guns I can choose from. But wait, I can't even craft any of these. It says I need iron. Yup, and there's plenty of iron here, but you're gonna need a pickaxe. Yeah, so can you give me one? Sure, Bubbles. I hit a pickaxe somewhere in this room. Somewhere in this room. Hmm. Oh, wait. How did I not see this over here? This is literally a sign that says real pickaxe. So try opening it. Okay, this better be a diamond pickaxe. Wait, what in the world? Oh my, there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. What the heck, GE? There was nothing in that chest and I died. Yup, because the pickaxe is still hidden in here. But where could it even be? Let me punch around the room here and wait a second. This iron bar looks oddly suspicious, GE. Oh, uh, it does? Let me just try right-clicking it, and whoa, it's a tiger's pickaxe! Nice job, Bubbles. Now you can mine the iron. Let's go! Time to get a gun! And that should be enough! Nice, so what gun are you gonna make? Ooh, I'm gonna make one of these! And hey, why'd you take it? Give it to me, GE! You know what? Fine, Bubbles. I'll give it to you. But be careful, because the walls are dropping in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh my goodness, this thing is so scary! It's okay, Bubbles. You got this! Wait, I killed it! Nice job, Bubbles. And he even dropped a diamond ho too oh yeah i'm the best let's move on to the next section but ge i can't fit through this well you can't fit just yet look at the item frame whoa this is my favorite it's a game boy oh uh, it's not a game boy bubbles it's a personal shrinking device oh so does that mean if i do this i can turn super small yep yeah, and now you're super short bubbles hey don't call me short you're short well not yet but now i am haha <laughs> you're so short but i guess we can move on to this part now welcome to my tiny parkour and you're gonna have to make it all the way to the end. Ooh, this is so cool. Watch the parkour master. What in the world? I guess you're not a master after all, Bubbles, but whatever. Try to. What do you mean? I literally got this. So easy. Look at this. Let me just go a little bit slow around the iron bars here, and then I'll bounce on the slime onto the ladder. Nice, and now you just have a few more jumps. Let me do this ladder parkour, and looks like I made it. Now you can make it forward. Let's go. Wait a second. What is this? That's a whole lot of silverfish. Just knock him into the lava bubbles you got this only one left come on i did it nice job bubbles and now we can finally be tall again let's go but what in the world is this this is my deadly paragliding course and you're gonna have to make it through paragliding i've never done that before but i guess i'll pick it up and watch this g here i go Wee! oh no wait i didn't make it oh my how did you die first try second time's the charm though let's go nice job bubbles but you still have a lot more jumps to go well that's that's easy. On to the next one. And we all over here. Oh no, it just spawned mobs. Can you fight them? Of course I can, because good thing I still have this gun. Oh my, I forgot you had that, Bubbles, but whatever. Now you just have a few more jumps left. Oh yeah, let's do this. But wait a second, there's two doors. Yeah, a blue door and a green door. Which one are you picking? Well, isn't that obvious, G? I'm gonna go to the diamond door. All right, let's see if you make it. And wait a second, what is happening? There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. I can't believe it. Are those ghost blocks? Yup, and now you have no choice but to go to the green door. Ew. And is this a quiz? Yup, and for your first question, you're gonna have to see which one is better, rotten flesh or poisonous potatoes. Ooh, yummy. I love rotten flesh. Wait a second. How is this the wrong answer? It's the wrong answer because rotten flesh is yucky. No, it's not, GE. It's literally the best. Okay, whatever, Bubbles, but you still have to go in the potato side. Fine, I guess I'll go through. What is the better color? Gee, this is such an easy answer. It's gonna be blue. Wait a second. No. How did you get it wrong twice? Obviously, green's the better color. Are you serious right now? Green is nasty. You still have one more chance to redeem yourself, Bubbles. Who is shorter, GE or Bubbles? Well, looking at us right now, you look a lot shorter. What? I am not short, Bubbles. <laughs> yes, you are. So I'm gonna go through GE. And are you serious right now? There's no way you just got it wrong three times. You know what, Bubbles? I'll save you the hassle and you can go through this side. Yeah, whatever, GE. This room looks really scary. What do I do? I put a ton of buttons in this room and you're gonna have to find the right one. The right button? 
wait, but there's so many. Hold on, this one's blue, my favorite color. Yup, so what if you just try pressing it? Oh no, I just fell. Oh my goodness, you fell for my trap. I can't believe it. How did that block even break? Because that was a fake button and you're gonna have to find the real one. Oh man, I guess I'll start pressing a bunch of these buttons. Come on, almost there. Wait a second, did I just hear the door open? Yup, it looks like you did. Let me just try this again. I found it, but I gotta be fast if I wanna make it to the next room, so let me press it and run. Nice job, Bubbles, but now you're gonna have to make it through my super deadly dropper. This does look pretty deadly. It's all right, Bubbles, I believe in you. Wait, I think I literally see water right here. This was much easier than I thought. Wait, what? Oh my, that was the fakest water of all time. How did he fall for that? What do you mean? It's literally blue. Wait, there's another blue one over here, so let me try jumping down, and wait a second, I'm gonna get hurt. Yup, because you just fell in my poisonous water. I only have one blue one left, so this has to be the right one. All right, Bubbles, then try it out. And I'm so confident that I'm gonna do a 360. Let's go. Will you make it? I did. Nice job, Bubbles. But now you have to make it through one final obstacle. Which is the right tunnel, the blue tunnel or the green tunnel? It's obviously gonna be the green. Wait, what? Just kidding. Blue is way better. Let's go. Wait, what the heck? No way. You just died to the green springs. I can't believe it. Maybe I have to sneak past here. Come on. Yeah, I don't know about that, buddy. That only leaves you with one more option, the green tunnel. Ew, I guess I'll go through it then. And hey, I'm safe to open the chest. Yeah, so let's see what's inside. There's so many diamonds. We're rich. Let's go. All right, Bubbles, now that we went through each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Looking closely at our builds, I think mine's is way better. Well, I think mine is better. Then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment Bubbles. No, everyone comment GE. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, click the video that's on screen right now. Click another video. Bye. Are you serious right now? <laughs>